Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial video on how to limit your FPS for NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, if you have uh, a high powered graphics card and you're playing an older game, you might be getting like 500, you know, 800 FPS in, in these older games and you just, and you don't, you know, you just don't need that power. Um, your, your fans are going at full speed and it's annoying, you know, and, you know, you generally don't need to be playing some older games at 800 fps uh, another reason why you want to might want to do this is you have a laptop and you want to save some battery life and you you know you have a, a game running at 300 fps well you, you're not going to need that uh you, in most cases you're only going to need you know like 120 or something like that so a frame rate limiter is can be useful in that case um so i was reading this article from Blurbusters. Uh, talking about the best ways to to achieve this now the best the number one way to do it without introducing any input lag is to use the in-game frame rate limiter now this would be an option inside the game itself or a ini file which you edit uh, so in the case of like overwatch for instance there, there's a frame rate limiter right there fortnite there's a frame rate limiter you know in, in the menus uh, something like PUBG though, you need it won't be in the menus, but then you need to go in there, uh, go into the INI files, find the max frame rate variable, change it to, you know, what whatever you want. Uh, so in most cases there is one, but in in other cases there aren't uh, a frame rate limiter. So you'll need to use a, an external program, uh, and there's two listed here: the Revertuner Statistic Server, which they say adds uh, less than a frame delay or the NVIDIA Inspector which adds maybe two frames a frame delay uh, of input lag. So I'll show you how to use these. Let's go to the in-game one first. So Overwatch uh, we have here. In Overwatch the options, the video options, you can see uh, there's an option here called Limit FPS. You can set that to custom and I've got mine set to 240. Now in competitive FPS games uh, it's actually worth setting your frame rate above your monitor's refresh rate because in some cases it can reduce the input lag even more than setting it close to your uh, monitor refresh rate. So I, I generally keep that around t between 200 and 300 for games like Overwatch or CSGO or um, PUBG or things like this. Um, so yeah, this is the in-game one. I'll show you the the next way that you can limit your FPS, uh, which is the Reva Tuner Statistics Server. Now, for this one, um, you'll need to add a game to the uh, to the list here. So I've got PUBG here, so I'll just delete it. Uh, what you need to do is you press Add, find the executable of the game. So this is PUBG. Um, leave all these on default, and here where it says Frame Rate Limit you can type in a number, let's type in 120 which is fine, press enter and then the next time you start that game it should limit to 120 FPS. Uh, in some cases I found this a little bit unreliable to be honest uh, because I'm not sure if it's if the game has anti-cheat or or something like that um, but for me on PUBG on my PC it's not too reliable to use this method uh, the the last and most reliable method is to do it at the driver level, which is using this program here. So when you download and, and run the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you'll see this screen, uh, the global driver profile, and this is the uh, this is the profile for all of your games. So if you change something here, it will actually affect all of your games. Generally, I, I don't like. Um, putting a limiter on every single game that I'm playing so I will find the game in here so let's say I'm playing an older game like The Witcher The Witcher 1 and then this game you know a 1080 Ti or a 1080 or whatever is going to get 500 FPS when you're running down the street in, in the game and for an RPG game like this you don't really need you know more FPS than, your, than what your monitor is uh, capable of so here I've set the frame rate limiter option under the sync and refresh section to my monitor's refresh rate which is 120 and then 
the key thing here is to set the frame rate limiter mode to limiter v2 force off which enables limiter v1 so from this article from Blur blurbusters they're saying limiter v1 has less input lag than than the newer version of of the limiter which is in the drivers so they they're recommending this option uh for the best experience uh you set those two and then you hit apply changes and then the next time you start that game it will be running at this fps level okay and that's and that's about it so to summarize the best way to limit your fps is to use the in game uh, methods or the in engine methods editing config files or doing it from the menu the second way is to use the Reva Tuner uh, server which is for me it's not you know not so reliable but you might get better results and then finally the way to do it the third way to do it is to to use the Nvidia profile inspector and then edit on the driver level uh, and add your frame limit to there I hope you find this video useful and I'll see you guys next time